My name is Mary Greenwell, and I'm going to show you how to look your best at any age. So often people think, I can't use that colour, I'm too old for it. That is not the case. It's how you apply it that's the important bit. So I'm going to start by showing you the skincare I used on Sarah. I used this Pixie product, which is called Glow Tonic, and it's amazing. And it's actually an exfoliating product. So to use it every morning under your makeup will start the skin off with an amazing natural glow. Then I used the Pixie Primer, which is going to give this amazing glow on her skin, which is absolutely fantastic. On top of that, I used the Bourjois Healthy Foundation, just a very, very little bit, because the primer would have done a lot of the work for me already. If Sarah turns this way, you will see there's absolutely no foundation there at all. I just literally used the foundation down the center of the face and then blended it out. Diego La Palma Concealer, and you'll see how it'll lift the eye area and then just onto the cheekbone here. Okay, knocking it in. I'm gonna start by using this pale color under the brow. I'm just gonna knock back the brow a little bit and give it just, I'm basically setting the brow, there you go. And it has a tiny bit of shimmer in it, can you see that? Just a little bit of shimmer there, which is a pick up and make it really pretty. So now I'm gonna take the middle color and I'm just gonna brush this across the entire lid. Just build up slowly, don't go too fast. Especially as you get older, you know, you don't need to put, maybe you need to put less of the product that someone younger would put on where they could just pile it on. We all have it, I have it. If something develops on your eye as you get older, there's a little sort of bit there. I don't know what to call it, except for the bit there. And, right, are you with me? Bag? <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Anyway, that little bit there can just be worked in just a little bit more. So you just work in a bit more color in there in that corner, but not taking more color, just working in the color. I'm just getting rid of that little, should we call it a bag? I'm gonna use this dirty gold color here, okay? For along the lid. I'm gonna use a smaller brush. I'm gonna use this pencil in the roots of the lashes, just so there's a little bit more strength in the corner. I'm gonna blend it down. Every step with makeup is so important. If you think about what you do before you do it, you can really, really build well, rather than build for the sake of building or thinking you're getting somewhere. By the time you get to Sarah's age, you probably know your face pretty well. So really, really respect what you're doing and take time and stand back and look at it and move in and move out. Now I'm going to go with the Autograph Chunky Pencil. I love these pencils, they're amazing. And I'm just gonna bring out the line a little bit more along the top, just gonna add a bit more depth to the entire lid of the same shimmer. A lot of people are frightened of using very shimmer colors when they get older because they think they're going to be revealing the little lines that we have on our lids when we get older, but that's not necessarily true. You know, shimmer is such a big thing in makeup these days, and it's very much of the now. So I think it's important to, to sort of forget that philosophy because in fact, matte colors are quite aging. They don't give that softness and the luminosity that shimmer colors do give. It's gonna go underneath, all the way along very gently just to open up the eye fraction. There you go, that's enough. That's enough to accentuate the eye and bring the eye out. Ico mascara. Now I'm just gonna to get to the roots of the lashes and you'll see how the mascara will actually really make the eye pop. If you only do the ends of the lashes, you will never look like you have long eyelashes. You have to get into the roots and go up. Q-tip, the most valuable tool in makeup. I'm just gonna clean your eye there, my darling, sorry. Now moving on to brows. Because Sarah has gray hair and the most amazing gray hair, what you don't want to do is use any brow product that has red in it. Because you can still see there's quite a lot of dark through Sarah's brows, I also don't want to make them too heavy. But I do want to just bring a little bit more definition to them. So I'm using actually an autograph product that has three products in it. I'm only gonna go for the center product, which is the middle powder. Teeny weeny bit of product on the brush. And I'm just gonna fill in just in the middle. That's enough, as you can see, that's enough. Because I'll really change the entire look. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna use the Brow Gel by Ico. I'm gonna take off the excess on the back of my hand, and then what is left on the brush, I'm then gonna brush through her brows. Gently lift the brow and change the color a little bit through there where there's actually a little bit too much gray. There you go, done. Apricot blush by Autograph. I'm keeping it very minimal and sort of keeping it quite low. Um, I'm now using the Rosie Huntington Whiteley highlighter and I'm just gonna highlight the cheekbone here. Use your finger and just dot it on. I'm gonna use a Stila bronzer. This is a really good color because it has no red in it. So it also acts as a great contour color. Just a little bit up onto the forehead, into the hairline, just for warmth. And you can see that gives you a fantastic jawline. 
lip liner. It will help to make lips last longer, especially as you get older, in fact. And if you are using lipstick, it'll prevent the lipstick kind of going into the little creases we have around our mouths. This will be the prevention. So what I love about this lip liner, it's actually a lip color, but three tones darker. So it works really well for defining. Right, rub your lips together a lot, back and forth. Best way to blend it back with the lip liner just to perfect it. Now that I've got the colour of the lipstick in there, I can see what to do to bring it out even more. Powder, which is actually autograph, it's great. Go with one that actually matches your skin tone. For example, this is light medium, which is perfect on the skin tone. When I do this, it'll soften those little, little tiny little lines above the mouth. I'm going to leave the centre of the nose shiny, because that's really pretty. I'm going to take it through here, just in the corner there. I'm going to take it just onto the inside of the eye, just to soften this hair, just through here. But not all the way long, just there only. And then, T-zone, I'm just going to soften this through here. And this is the same you would do on someone younger too, it's exactly the same. You would only powder the T-zone. You might not use as much powder on someone very young, because maybe they would want that really glowing skin that is incredibly fashionable, as it is for Sarah as well, because look at that fantastic glow on the eyes, on the mouth, and on the lips. My last thing I'm going to do is brush the brows very gently. Now, what I use is a baby toothbrush. Brush them through, and we're done. This beautiful, beautiful face of Sarah's is finished. So this is how to look your best at any age.